hospice house is a place for people to come at the last stage of their life. It's a quiet place, and the quiet lends to the comfort. It's filled with light and love. It's a place of peace. When we have people that are, um, are near the end of their life, um, and we think that they, uh, they're close enough to the end of their life that it may just be a few days or up to a couple of weeks, um, and they don't have a setting in which they can comfortably be at home, then the hospice house is the best option uh, that I can think of here in Spokane. Them. They can get 24-7 hospital-level care, but at the hospice house in a very quiet, serene setting. And that's what it's all about, is making sure that people are as comfortable as they possibly can be for as long as they can be, um, so that they can enjoy every minute that they have. So I'm Dr. Bob Bray. I'm the Medical Director of Hospice of Spokane. So I'm a family physician by training as well as a geriatrician. My job is to work together with the patient's physician and so when the patient is here receiving this care, they have access to hospice nurses and the physician staff of Hospice of Spokane is available 24-7 and their needs are also assisted by nurse aides who are going to help with bathing and turning and dressing and all those things that they need assistance with. It really allowed us to be family and not have to be caregivers. The medical needs that he had, we didn't have to worry about doing for him because the staff there, they were able to bathe him and medicate him and um, do all those kind of things and it just allowed us to be family and be able to love him and they were right there. They responded as soon as we pushed that button. They were in the room and gently, gently, lovingly taking care of whatever needs Mike had. The transfer from another setting to the hospice house is usually a really seamless process. Um, all of the necessary medications and equipment are in place prior to the transfer and we have a lot of time that we can spend getting folks um, just oriented and comfortable into our setting. The whole idea, the whole concept and design of this room is to try to make sure that first and foremost that it's comfortable for the, for the patient and for their family. So the beds are very high-tech beds designed for both comfort and safety. We have wall oxygen similar to like they do in the hospital. If patients need suction, if they, we have that. If they need to have their medicines delivered by uh, intravenous um, methods, we have the ability to deliver all that. There's a private bathroom in each room. Uh, it's wheelchair accessible. Patients can shower in a, in a wheelchair accessible shower. Individual climate comfort. This chair expands out into a single bed. The privacy was important, being able to spend that time with Mike without having to worry about a neighbor somebody being in the bed next to him. It was like being in his bedroom at home. You know, when we were um, putting our plans together for the hospice house, we were articulating to our architect just that we wanted it to feel very welcoming. We wanted it to have the look of a sprawling rancher that kind of fit the neighborhood. And we wanted people to walk in and just kind of have a sigh of relief and know that they were in a loving, supportive, home-like environment where they encountered people who nurtured them and um, supported them and met them where they were. Well, my name is Cheryl and I have been at Hospice House since the day they opened. People really seem to enjoy when I do like a, a Thanksgiving dinner too. And you know, it's just usually just like turkey and gravy and mashed potatoes and dressing and cranberry sauce and sweet potatoes and, and uh, green bean casserole and they love it. I mean, it just, you know, it just makes them think of good times, family times and I, I don't know, but that's something that everybody really likes. Cheryl, the, one of the, the cooks, came in one day and mom was having a really good day. 
and Cheryl came in and said, Lena, what would you, if you could have anything you wanted to eat, what would it be? And, and mom said, oh, turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy. And that's what appeared for dinner that night. I remember my brother, sister, and I just looked at each other and said, this is it. This is the answer. We walked in, it was peaceful, it was quiet. There were no overhead announcement systems, no fluorescent lights. Parking is easy. You don't have to pay for parking. There was a little kitchen with a refrigerator there, so we could have our own food there if we wanted. Each of the rooms has a door so that you could put a lawn chair out on a little patio. There's a very beautiful, serene chapel. There are several rooms where you can just go and hang out. The environment is very conducive to people coming and going all hours of the night. We could come and go according to what worked for us. It, it just truly was the answer to, to what we needed. We care for the entire family. Kids are welcome, and we even have a special room for them. Our chaplains and social workers are here to help everyone with emotional and spiritual support. And that emotional support continues through our bereavement counselors after the death of a loved one. It is the care that sets it apart. It's not only the place, but it's the care. It was a very welcoming, open place that made you feel safe and things were going to be okay. I think that's what we'll remember the most. I will never, ever forget the experience of the hospice house. Um, it, it will always be a place of peace. I'm just so glad they were there. If you are interested in more information about how Hospice of Spokane can help you, call us at 509-456-0438.